The Lincolnshire Rural Activities Centre, set in an area of outstanding natural beauty, is renowned for its superb equestrian facilities, but now offers so much more. Since taking over as centre manager, Sarah Moss has developed the site to provide a wider range of activities. Sarah manages the centre with the help of groundsman Stuart Marwood. I'm the groundsman caretaker for the entire centre and site. Just on your own? Yeah, just it's on my own. 33 yeah. acres? Yeah, it's a, a lot to do. It that keeps me. quite a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, is, yeah. <laughs> it keeps me really, really busy, especially, well, summertime with the grass and then in the wintertime with all the horse events. The outstanding facilities make it a natural home for a number of equestrian organisations, including the local pony club. We um, cater for um, all the horse and pony riders in, in Lincolnshire, around our area. Um, we do lots of show jumping, cross country, eventing. We do a lot of our work here at Kennick. Um, we do a lot of show jumping rallies all our training up here, dressage rallies. It's a brilliant centre, it's fairly central to everyone. It doesn't take people long to get here. It's just a really useful, really good centre to come to. The centre is also home to the North Links Riding Club. North Links Riding Club is affiliated to the British Riding Clubs, which is a national body. And within our club, we aim to cater for grassroots riders from the very smallest level to advanced riders. Today we've got what we call a show cross which is a round of show jumping and then they go out onto into the grounds of Kennick over some um, knocked down cross-country fences. I think we've been using this centre for about the last 15 years. To us it's ideal because um, we can hire the facilities which are excellent we can use for our dressage competitions indoor all through the year because we've got a covered arena. We can use the rest of the ground as well and make the most of it. Professional trainers find it an ideal location and environment to work with their clients. This is a really good example of an undercover centre with a good surface and a very friendly atmosphere. Um, yeah, a lot of my clients enjoy coming here. Some of my clients from home even ask when I'm coming and travel to get here. It's a great arena, it's a good size. Um, they've got their own show jumps here that we can use. Um, everything's here. They make me cups of tea on a regular basis, so that's a big plus. I did teach Ros Cantor many years ago, <laughs> showing me age now. Hi Ros. <laughs> Um, yeah, so a bit of a claim to fame there, but obviously she's gone on to great things now. Yeah. We come up fairly regularly in the winter, particularly. It's just it's just a great indoor environment. They sometimes behave a little bit better, and um, yeah, we really enjoy it here. I remember um, the, the place being built when I was small. My mum's been a trustee right from the start, so we've always been very involved here. You know, and everyone's friendly and helpful and. Even the fact that you know there's people here with learning difficulties is, can be a real advantage because sometimes they do things that we wouldn't necessarily plan for and that just trains the horses to expect anything really. I've done some teaching here in the past and um, uh, I helped with the RDA, I did a demonstration so we did that for, for charity um, which was a great success so hopefully yeah we'll do some more in the future too. The benefits of riding for people with disabilities has long been recognised. 
Lincolnshire Wales Riding for the Disabled has made their home here at the centre. Tigger, the new interactive riding simulator, allows those new to riding to learn in a controlled environment where they can safely walk, trot or canter through a choice of landscapes. Pupils from the local schools find it a welcome change from the classroom environment to develop skills and confidence. Um, St Bernard's School is a local school in Louth, it's a specialist education school. So we have students um, with a range of different uh, learning needs. The post-16 students use the centre and um, we come up here two days a week and we use it to develop um, key and sort of core skills for the students. We develop independent skills, we do cooking up here, we're developing work-based skills so those students who have got an interest in horticulture or joinery they can come up here and develop those skills and it's just a really great place to come and, and learn those really core sort of work skills. So we've got a conservation area which we're stood in now. Uh, we cleared out the ponds, so we had some of the students in waders actually in the pond doing a bit of clearing. Um, yeah, so we've started a little bit of work up here. The plan is that if we get it to a really good um, uh, condition, we can get some of the younger students up here to come and do a bit of wildlife spotting and, and sort of enjoy being outdoors as well. It's fun and it does us great to go out of school for a bit. The new IT suite with 12 computers and an interactive whiteboard provides an ideal classroom. As well as the groups based at the centre, other organisations can also benefit from the facilities. The natural surroundings of the Rural Activities Centre provide a safe and calm environment that is particularly suited to people with disabilities. For the Livali Daycare Group, it is an ideal home for the people they care for. We are daycare, so the clients come to us from half past nine till half past three in the daytime. Um, we like to think we're a little bit different. Um, we include a lot of life skills, but in a fun approach. Um, and also social inclusion is a big thing. Well, we do all the cooking from scratch in the kitchen. So they, they go and get all the bits out of the garden and we create delicious meals. They do all their menu planning and their shopping lists and they come in and they chop and they stir and they create lovely dinners and then we serve them all up. I love working here. Just watching all the guys grow from not actually being able to do any of it to in, I've been here two years now nearly mm -hmm. and to just they can make a meal themselves now so for me that's a great achievement and for them it's amazing yeah I love that yeah in the morning it's it's usually the gardening the cooking um, so there's more life skills in the morning then in the afternoon this afternoon we've got yoga so we go up to the woods we have wind charms that they've made we put them up in the woods and they have a yoga session for me um, I've been involved with the RDA for a long time um, and I just the area is just beautiful um, and there couldn't be a nicer place to be. Since taking over as centre manager, Sarah has tried to expand the range of facilities on the site. One welcome addition to the centre is the wide range of outdoor pursuits offered by Back to Bear.
The Lincolnshire Rural Activities Centre is a charity that relies on support from organisations and individuals who give money and time to maintain this very special place that is a home to some of the most vulnerable people in our community. To book any of the facilities, help with a donation or volunteer your time, contact the centre manager Sarah Moss on 01507 608885 or visit the centre website. Yeah.